So today my grade five class will be demonstrating how we do a number talk. During math talks or number talks, students use a variety of math strategies to mentally solve computational problems. We started number talks or math talks in September and so the students have been adding to their repertoire of strategies. We started with addition, then subtraction. Um, now we're at multiplication and in about a month or so we hope to move on to division. Our hope is that by focusing on number sense throughout this year, students will build stamina in mental math, just as we encourage students to build stamina in reading. So we do number talks about three times a week before each math lesson, and each math talk should last about five to 10 minutes. And we do have some protocols that we follow. Um, it's good to have students gather somewhere where they have access to an elbow partner. In my classroom, we have the carpet, so we usually meet on the carpet for number talks. And I give them the question, I do it on the whiteboard, and I operate from my iPad, but you could just do it on your board. And then uh, you, ha you have to give them some wait, wait time. So I usually give the students about two to three minutes of wait time, and they use signals to show me that they're ready. So when they, I give them the question, and uh, they have a little bit of wait time, and when they have one strategy, it's just a quiet hand right in front of them like this. So they give me one thumb to show that they have one strategy. And then some students might still be working on one strategy. Others can move on to two and three and others may have more. So that, uh, after about three minutes, I get a sense of uh, how many students have access to the strategies and are, are able to solve the problem, at least one strategy to solve the problem. And then we record their thinking. So when we record their thinking in number talks, we consider all the responses. And I don't correct them, we don't discuss it while we're recording. So we just accept all the responses, and then after that, they get a, a, some time. Sometimes they have partner time, other times um, we go right into the debrief. And um, then they can make co comments, they ask questions, and they may, um, they may choose the most efficient strategy for them. So uh, today's number talk, I'm going to put it on the board and then we'll get started. Just had a little moment there. <laughs> Can you edit that out? <laughs> okay, you ready? So boys and girls, at the workshop, the principals, vice principals, and teachers will be doing the same problem. So here it is, your number talk for today. Go ahead. there. Okay, let's share. First strategy. Jathushan, what have you got? Um, I rounded, I mean, I did 15 times 3, and I got 45. And then I did 5 times 30. And I got 150. And then I did 10 times 30, and I got 300. And then I added them all up, and I got 495. Thank you. Roz? Um, I did 10 times 33, which gave me 330. And then I did 5 times 33. Um, 
and I got 65. Oh, 165. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I added them together, and I got 495. Let's go over here. Kaden? Um, I used place value, and I did um, 15 times 30. And that gave me 450. And then I did 15 times three, which gave me 45. And then I added those two together and I got 495. Okay, anyone else? Any other strategies? Somebody different than Jablushin? You're shy today because the cameras are on you. Noah, have you got something? Okay, I did 15 times 3, which is 45. And then I did 15 times 30, which is um, 45. Do you want me to come back to you? Yeah. Sure. Okay, Jathushin, one more. Um, I did 15 times 3, which is 45, and I did 15 times 30, which is 450. Okay, so 45, and I did 15 times 30, 30, and I got 450. Yes. And I added it, and I got 495. That's the same. Okay, so that's the same as Roz's. What? Wait, no, my strategy was... Oh, no, it's not. Oh. It is almost the same. You just reversed it. Okay. Any others for today? Kaden? Um, I did 10 times 30, which gave me 300. Then I did 10 times 3, which gave me 30. And then I did 5 times 30, and I got 150. Then I did five times three, and I got 15. And I added those all together, and I got 495. Okay. Take a minute and look at all the strategies. We'll stop there just because we filled up our page. And let's have a look at all of, all of the strategies and have a quick discussion with your elbow partner. Any questions, comments? Okay. Um, Which so strategy was the most effective? Well, I think the four and four is the same as basically five. And then and then my most efficient strategy is two is number one. Because I found 50 times three, which equals 45 times this year. Then something is something else. And five times three is 150. And ten is number two. I think number two is really good because it's easy to release. Yeah, it's easy to Because like five times whatever, you can just count by five. It's really easy to do. And then ten is just. Okay, so Noah, we, we said we would go back to you. You had decided to use 15 times 3, and you got 45, then it was 15 times 30, and you were stuck. So after talking to Logan, did you come up with a different strategy or a, a different way of solving? Um, I like divided 15 and I, div I split 30 in half. Okay, so what did you end up with? Uh, 15 times 15 is 125. And then I did that again. 125 and then you add that together, which is 250. And then you add 45. 295. 295. Okay. Questions or comments? Dylan. Uh, for question four, what what Noah did um, before he um before he came up with the different strategy, 15 times 30 is 450, and that will equal 495. But he didn't know 15 times 30, so he yeah, decided so that he wanted to break it down. So 15 times 15. 
but um, 15 times 15 is, um, I think it's more, uh, is it a different number? What so is it? Evan? It's 225. 225. So if he had done that, does that work out now, Noah? Yeah. 495? Okay, so let's go back to that though. If 15 times 15, if he had a hard time, could he have taken it apart even further, Roz? He could have done, um, he could have done, like, um, since he did 15 times 15, he could have done 15 times 10, 15 times 10, 15 okay. times 5, 15. So make those friendly numbers, right, Noah? So that, do, do the equation, make the equation that's easiest for you, okay? And nobody says that you have to just do it in four steps. You can keep going and use as many steps as you need to. Any uh, comments about the, what was the most efficient strategy for you? Tess. Um, number two was the most efficient strategy because um, she broke it into like numbers that I can multiply easily. So 10 times 33, did you just do one times 33? Is that what you mean by, explain why, why those were easy for you? Because 10 is an easy number to multiply by, and I could just do those numbers fast in my head. Okay, and then you, there were only two numbers to add together. Did yes. that make it easier for you as well? Okay. Haley, I? Um, I also think number two is um, efficient for me because she broke it down, like, like Tess said, she broke it down into easy numbers to multiply. Okay. Haley G? I found number one really easy just because it was... Um, the numbers that I um, that are that he uh, multi multiplied were really easy to do in my head. I didn't have to think about it for long. I could just do it really fast. Kaden, I think um, three and six were both efficient because um, three it broke it down into easy numbers, but number six it broke it down into even easier numbers. Number six multiples of ten, right? Ten. Tens and fives, we can multiply those easily. So uh, we, we could even have more strategies, right, if we decided to make these numbers friendlier. But I think you did a pretty good job today, a very good job. So we will stop there for today. Well done.